greatest movies of all times. And in case you haven't seen... Ooh, <laughs> someone's crumbling under pressure. <laughs> Vertigo follows the story of John Ferguson. Is it John? Ooh, <laughs> someone's crumbling under pressure. Hi guys, I'm Lucas. And I'm Elena. And welcome to One Couple One Review. Today we're back with our list of the 100 greatest movies of all times. And in case you haven't followed us before, we're gonna put a link down below to the article we take the list from. And today we have number 54, which is Vertigo. So watch out for mind spoilers ahead. Vertigo came out in 1958. It was directed by Alfred Hitchcock and it stars James Stewart as John Ferguson and Kim Novak as Madeline. Vertigo follows the story of John Ferguson, a private detective who's hired by his old friend Gavin to follow Gavin's wife because she's acting a little bit strange. But then after she tries to commit <laughs> he becomes obsessed with her and that's where the story unravels itself. But what do you think about this movie? So, the thing is, for me, Alfred Hitchcock is a great director and, like, to me, my favorite movie of his is Psycho. So mm. after seeing Psycho, because that's the first movie I've seen of him, I always have very high expectations of all the mm -hmm. movies that we've seen after that one. And none of them are at the level, like, at Psycho's mm. level. And I know it's, like my opinion because i'm sure so many people think that every single one of their movies is great but with me for example i went into vertigo thinking that it was gonna be if not just as good as psycho it would come close because it's mm. very famous i feel yeah. like after psycho that's like the one that i know from Alfred Hitchcock. like everybody just talks yeah. about that movie but i was a bit disappointed disappointed hmm. i feel like i mean there were some good things about the movie and I'm gonna start with them but mm. in general like I didn't enjoy it that much mm. I would say that was good about the movie for sure is the how it was filmed I know that for the time especially mm. for the 50s the way it was filmed it was very smart like especially I know that the scene that is very famous is the one where he has vertigo like mm -hmm. from the title of the movie that it was filmed in a way that was very like innovative for the time yeah. and like everybody w went crazy about it and mm. I understand that because for the time it was like a great scene how it was shot so mm -hmm. like I appreciate the way the movie was filmed it was very yeah. creative for the time and also I think the story at the start of the movie was interesting like the first I feel like half an hour 40 minutes I was quite hooked because mm -hmm. I mean just the fact that he goes and he's trying to investigate what the what his friend's wife is up to and like all the mystery surrounding her I thought it was quite interesting at the start and the characters are as well especially the main character mm. like they were interesting they weren't bad yeah. or boring character but that's about it <laughs> what about you I'm gonna agree with you as well so I didn't like this movie as much as I think everybody else does and I'm gonna start by talking about the good things first and then we can get into the negatives but what I'm gonna say is Alfred Hitchcock he is the master of making movies good like especially for his time when he didn't have cgi or any of the stuff that we have nowadays he knows how to make a movie look good the movie is very artistic like in the parts like you said the parts with vertigo like the camera like does the whole thing that it makes things look like very far and like you, you you actually feel the vertigo from his vision and everything and i think that it it just looks good it's a movie that looks good every movie from alfred hitchcock looks good and like you said i feel like the story starts very interesting from the beginning yeah you know it, it kind of got me into the mystery of what is going on with madeline and like okay i want to know i want to figure out what, what's going on what is the latest about and everything and the thing is i feel that halfway through the movie kind of loses its charm to me but what's bad about this movie i feel like it's just everything else really i mean the thing is like i said the first like half an hour 40 minutes of the movie i was hooked but after that like slowly i started losing interest i feel mm. like the movie started to not make as much sense mm. i feel like and also the mystery became a bit not boring but like it wasn't as interesting as it mm. was at the store especially like towards the end i feel like the movie kind of lost itself a bit mm. like the whole mystery about like her dying or supposedly dying yeah. like it just 
it was weird and I feel like I didn't enjoy it as much. I thought the movie could have been better if it took like a different direction. Yeah. So I think that was the main thing. And also like, I'm not gonna lie, I know it's an old movie, but the more it went on, the more I felt like it was getting a bit cringy. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, like movies in the past, they were different the way they used to speak the mm. way the characters were built like it's completely different from now so maybe it could just be mm. that i'm not that used to those kind yeah. of movies but i think the main thing is that the movie started in a way and then it went in a completely different direction that i didn't enjoy as much what yeah. about you? i'm gonna agree with you so i feel like uh definitely the movie kind of lost me halfway through and i feel there's a couple different things here and there that i thought okay this could have been done better so for a movie that's called vertigo and a guy that basically has like problems with heights they feel i feel like they didn't use that as much i feel like they only used it like once or twice in the movie and i thought it was going to be way more of a factor into like his story rather than just the part where he's trying to chase after her in the tower and not only that, but I feel also that like when he was being hired for the job, he didn't seem like he was that interested in the job. And then his friend Gavin is like, oh, no, come on, you got to do this job for me. And he's like, no, 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 I'm not interested. Your wife clearly is crazy. And then Gavin just goes like, OK, fine, I'll just hire somebody else. And he's like, oh, hey, wait a minute, I'm on board, which I was like, wait, how did he change his mind so quick from, you know, from one time to the other? And also, I feel that uh, even like the mystery after like she commits i feel it was a little bit it wasn't done very well because she supposedly jumps off and nobody even investigates because she fell on the roof nobody even investigates and see like oh it was a doll it wasn't her or anything like that so i feel like it's a bit but okay i'm nitpicking here but i feel that the the thing that you know I really didn't like about it is that so she supposedly comes for like the whole insurance scam or whatever but after she does that she just moves somewhere really close in town instead of moving some like to a completely different yeah. city she just changes her hairstyle she looks the same, and she looks <laughs> the same and just like moves just like two blocks away and he spots her and then she's like pretending to be this other woman I was like eh, come on now it's a bit it's a bit lazy but what i'm gonna say is look this is my un movie, unpopular movie opinion is that just because it's a classic doesn't mean it's good and just because it's made by a good director doesn't mean that every movie by that director is gonna be good i'm not saying that alfred hitchcock makes bad movies that's not yeah. the case because he makes very good movies but this one in particularly i don't like it i don't think it was that well done yeah. story wise visually amazing story not so much yeah. but let's talk about ratings sure so rotten tomatoes the movie currently has a 92 percent as a score once again yeah so high i think that overall it wasn't like a terrible movie but it wasn't a good movie either to me not like mm. that good at least so i think that overall i would probably give it like a 6.5 what hmm. about you? I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna give it a little bit lower. I'm gonna say a six. Um, don't think it was the best movie out there. It's not the worst either. And again, look, if you like this movie, I'm sorry. It's just our opinion. But what should we call it? A six point twenty-five. Twenty-five. There we go. Also, let us know in the comments what is your unpopular movie opinion. And also, stay tuned as next time we're gonna be reviewing number fifty-three. That is Psycho. <gasps> Finally. See, there you go. Another one by Hitchcock, but this that one is actually great. Like, this yeah. was actually the first movie we watched when we started dating. Yeah, and it's a great movie to me, so I'm looking yeah. forward to watching it. Oh, yes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on our social media. And if you don't, you're going to be plagued with vertigo, and then we're going to put you in the highest tower in the world. We're going to be the Burj Khalifa, yeah, and we're going to put you round top. We're going to leave you there until you subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.